Hey guys, welcome to the Parrot Bros. Now today we're going to be seeing something a little bit different. Um, you've all seen my car many times in good and bad states. So uh, I thought it was about time we see yours, see what you're working on, see what your prize of joy are, your projects, your scrap files in the corner, whatever. <laughs> whatever stage of the game you're in. Um, and I've had a massive response, really appreciate it. So we'll call this episode number one because hopefully we'll be able to do it again in the future with some more rides. Um, Got quite a few coming up for you. We've got uh, their spec details, little stories, if there's some little stories about it. And, of course, loads of pictures so you can get some ideas of maybe what you want to do to yours, what looks good, and all that sort of stuff. So, before we get stuck into it, let's jump into the intro. Okay, so we've had some sort of 40-odd responses. Now, what I'll do is I've got the, the details here. I'll read through them. I'll flash some pictures up for you at the same time whilst reading a little bit about the story, a little bit about the spec. So um, first up, we've got a guy, Taylor Fox. Um, he's got a silver uh, convertible, quite a nice one. Um, it was a, it's a 22518 turbo. Uh, his granddad gave it to him and he was going to scrap it. It's done 127,000 miles. Uh, and it's been... He's, well, his granddad had it, 127,000 miles, and in eight years only done 4,000 miles. So uh, it needs a little bit of TLC. He says he's fit to stay in this downpipe, and his plan is just to kind of do it as he goes. He's looking to do some front mount uh, exhaust, all the sort of the normal stuff, um, and get it up to about 300-ish horsepower, which we shall see. Check back in with us later on. Uh, moving on, we've got number two, which is Peter Wooten. Uh, apologies if I say any names wrong because I am terrible at doing names. Uh, and this is a 3.2 V6. This thing's gorgeous. Um, he's had it two years. Lowered on stance coilovers. It's uh, He's done a few bits. Ram air filter, disc pads. Uh, rear seat delete after watching my video. Nice one. Um, he's done some LED lights. Now, um, I quite like these. Let me know what you think in the comments because I thought I quite... I don't, I don't know if I'd have them on mine, but I actually really like them. It's a bit of a guilty pleasure, really. Um, but I think it actually really suits the colour. Um, he's fitted, honeycomb grill. Looking for a remap soon, but on the 3.2 V6, I don't think you get masses, so that just makes it a little bit nicer. And I think they might map the box as well. I'm not sure. Um, loves going camping. His missus from memory thinks it's a bit unpractical, but hey, I've put a picture up. He can fit the world in it. Uh, number three, so Andy Giles didn't send me a great deal of information, and I've just shut the folder I need with all the pictures in. Um, <laughs> let's have a look. So he has got, oh, this is beautiful, this one. Um, what are the wheels? I don't know. don't actually know what the wheels are. So, but yeah, it's got some lovely wheels. If anyone knows what these wheels are, do tell me. Um, a 180 yet, in black, looks really clean, nice set of wheels. It's, mad, it's amazing what a nice set of wheels does to a car. Um, which is quite interesting. So yeah, that's number three. Moving on to number four. I'll try not to uh, shut this down anymore. So number four, Marvin um, from America. Uh, so just shows we're a uh, worldwide YouTube channel here. Um, this is Denim Blue by the looks of it. Yep, Denim Blue, blue interior. Just hit 289,000 miles on the original turbo. Well done. Um, and he's going to be putting a hybrid turbo on and doing a few mods wheels wise. Yeah, I think this thing looks great um, He's done a few little little bits painted and that they're diamond cut wheels by the looks of it really smart nice looking car that uh, Number five now I quite like this one um, I was having a look through his pictures on Instagram the other day because well because you can this is number five key Adams um, Now this is his third TT. He's had a few he's had a real high modified one um, two litre stroker, and he quite liked the reliability of a 1.8 uh, 180 stock 180, no, oh, yeah, 180 Quattro, yeah. And uh, it's, he says it's peppy enough to have a little play with the cars on the road. Now, this is Aviator Grey, and he says he loves uh, always enjoys telling people that it's not wrapped and it is an original color. Uh, <laughs> I've heard that argument before where people say, Oh, is that Primer Grey, or have you wrapped it, or is that Nardo Grey? No, 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 this is Aviator Grey, they've been making this. For a hell of a lot longer than uh, <laughs> they've been doing Nardo. So, yeah, lovely little thing. This quite low. And that is a great looking car. Really like the look of that. And <laughs> a picture of all this stuff hanging out the boot. Quality. Quality. Right. Number six. Right. So this guy's from Austria. I won't say his YouTube name, as his uh, Instagram name, because I will never be able to pronounce that in a million years. 
Um, so he's owned this for about five months. So recent owner actually, 22518 Turbo, nothing crazy yet. Um, Going to put a front splitter on. Oh, the front, sorry, the front splitter is from a Targa. 992 apparently, let's have a look. Oh yeah, see that's quite, I quite like that. Yeah. See, black, black TTs just look great. Even stop, oh he's got them lights as well. So yeah, have a look, let me know what you think about them rear lights. Quite like them. Right, let's move on to number seven. We're getting through these quick, I'm enjoying this. So this is a 3.2 V6. Uh, he's had it since 2017. Oh, I was having a laugh about this. He's, he, he actually lives in Aberdeen. Um, and he came all the way down to Luton, if you don't know where Luton is, um, just north of London. Um, so that's a good 400 miles, maybe. Uh, <laughs> and he drove it all the way back to Aberdeen. Now, he actually wanted an R32 Golf, um, but they're a bit too expensive at the time. They're still quite expensive now, to be fair. Um, and he actually bought an R32 and then sold it again because he actually preferred the TT V6. And in my opinion, I think that was the right thing to do. Um, I do like R32s. Not R32 hating, um, but value for money wise, I don't think you could beat a TT um, versus a V6 R32. Right, it's a nice looking thing. Let's move on to number eight. So number eight is a guy called Craig. Um, sent us a load of uh, quite a large spec list. Um, it's quite a nice looking thing. I really like the green. And he is sporting a Parrot Bros uh, <laughs> and uh, Cloud9 custom mix up rear, de rear delete. Um, he's got all the usual mods, Badger 5, Tip, Comb Filter, 3 inch downpipe, Stage 1, Lowered, Splitter, all that good stuff. Um, he's <laughs> He put an electronic exhaust cut out on it and it scraped on everything till the point that he pretty much ripped it off. So uh, yeah, he put a normal exhaust back on. It's probably not a bad idea. Don't want to uh, be driving along and leave your exhaust down the side of the road. Um, so that's number 8. Number 9, what we got here. So... Larry Arvey, maybe is the, the gentleman's name. I'm terrible with names. Um, nice little black thing. He's got a few little mods. Uh, dump, it said dump valve, and I'm not sure how that works because 18 Turbos aren't a big fan of dump valves, but you never know. And he has the biggest exhaust I have ever seen in my life on ATT, I think. Uh, they're four or five inch twin exhausts. You can fit your hand in there. He's changed the rear tail lights. He's um, done a few other ECU mods. Coilovers, H&R coilovers, splitter, and a few other bits and bobs. So that's quite a nice looking thing. Like I said, black always looks good, um, no matter what you do. He's got quite a nice front splitter there as well. Uh, let's move on to number 10. What we got here? So number 10, Josh, uh, new TT owner, really loving the Parrot Bros. Um, so I take it he needs a few bits of work. <laughs> Recently travelled a 1,000 miles to the Isle of Skye to pick it up. Uh, it's a 225. Quite a low mileage example, full Audi history, owned by a barrister. Nice, nice. And uh, so far he's done a few CB Autos dress up kit on my recommendation, a boost gauge and a Ram Air induction kit. Now this is quite a nice looking car. Just a stock looking car. Um, yeah, just enjoying it as it looks. Can't argue with that. If the body works nice and straight, sometimes simple trumps quite a lot of stuff. Now uh, let's move on to number 12. Uh, sorry, no. Getting ahead of myself, number 11. Now this one, this one puts me to shame. So this a fella called Miles Walker, um, he's since he bought it, he has fully changed the colour of the car, changed the wheels, the splitters, the grills, he's put S2000 Honda seats in it, rear seat delete, uh, the list goes on. And he's only owned it four and a half months, which puts me to shame because I've had mine nearly two years and it's <laughs> still got a list longer than when I started. Uh, <laughs> So yeah, that's, uh, let us know what you think. I think he's going to change the wheels. Um, we were having this chat the other day, obviously with the red. Um, I'm not a massive fan of black wheels because I find black wheels make the tyres look brown unless you gel your tyres every day. I don't know. Um, but I've never really been a fan. And if you get them a tiny bit dirty, they start to look, especially if they're gloss black, they start to go a bit matte looking and they don't look amazing. Um, but we were talking about gold. Gold wheels on a red car. Let me know what you think. Jump in the, the comments below. Yes or no? I quite like it. Um, right, so number 12. So this is quite a nice story, this one. Now, this is a chap called uh, Colin Bell. We've had chats in the past. He's from Leicester. He bought the car in 2020 as a project for him and his dad. 
Um, he's had quite a hard year and he just wanted something to sort of get his teeth into. Um, his dad was retired and wanted to sort of give him a hand. He loved cars, always played cars, They've always done cars together, which is really nice. It's quite a story that we can, I guess, all sort of relate to somewhere or another, whether it be a friend, family member or whatever who got you into cars, tinkered with it, give you your first screwdriver socket set, whatever it is. And um, they've done some stuff to it. And unfortunately, his dad passed away in April, but he was going to sort of buy the car, do it up and sell it. But now, because it's the last car him and his dad worked on, he intends to keep it for the for the foreseeable. They've done loads of work to it. It's a real nice condition. Let me know what you think. I mean, um, pictures-wise, it looks amazing. Um, real nice, clean. He's refurbished the wheels, sorted the lights out, changed the stereo and a few other bits and bobs. And it's just a great-looking car. Lovely backstory. Do love the story, because at the end of the day... It just embellishes the car, makes it a bit nicer. It's always nice to discuss why you like something and, and all that. So um, I've been following Colin's uh, sort of build as he goes. Really great story. Uh, let's move on to number 13. Keep clicking off the wrong thing. Can't multitask. So number 13, uh, for a lad called Connor. Don't really know a great deal about it. Um, silver aftermarket wheels. Bonnet vents, nice bonnet vents. RS style honeycomb grill. Looks quite low, big exhaust, and it's got a black tailgate. So it's a work in progress like that. Very nice. Number 14, lad called Mike. Um, so it's a 180 front wheel drive. Uh, got it in November 19. Been happy with it. Done some maintenance. Basically just real servicing stuff. Change the core pack, spark plugs, filter, 18-inch uh, wheels. Let's have a look. Yeah, not a bad one. He's looking to get an exhaust downpipe, catback system. It's got the rotor wheels. I quite like the rotor wheels on a TT. I'm on the fence about it because it's. I like them on period correct cars, but it's again personal preference. What I love about the car world. Um, number fifteen. Moving on. So Benjamin Varga. Um, he's got a stage two coil over space as Cooper. I lip same as me. Uh, mismatch for entire year because he had hit a deer. Um, so <laughs> this is a good way of discussing. Uh, oh, forgot to put my phone on silent. Typical. Um, he's got a red, which looks like amulet from the pictures, and he's obviously put a non-amulet front bumper and bonnet on. I'll show you the pictures. So there's definitely more than one type of red. Um, <laughs> but yeah, it's quite a nice looking car. That um, right, number sixteen. We're getting through these. So what we got? Number sixteen is. Wilfred um, got it in August, so only recently got it. Um, changed a few bits, painted some stuff, uh, changed the wheels, diffuser. Uh, needs to look at lowering it. <laughs> now this one, this has done some some racky miles. This has done three hundred and thirty thousand kilometers, um, and he paid four thousand euros for it, which apparently is pretty cheap in France. Now I've never purchased a car from France, but with that mileage. It's going to want to be cheap for that in uh, that area, but I guess they're not that common because obviously they love baguette cars like uh, Renaults and Citroëns in France. So yeah, the old German stuff tends to stay in Germany or England. But yeah, nice looking thing. Silver definitely needs to be lowered. That arch gap is criminal. Um, <laughs> uh, this is what's all right now. Moving on, number seventeen. This is one I've been following on Instagram. Now this lad, uh, he bought it in two thousand and six as a six-year-old car. Uh, imported it to Ireland from England um, in 2010, took it to the TT shop and spent quite a bit of time, quite a bit of money there by the looks of it. Uh, Miltech front mount in a cooler, Brembo GT brakes, um, shocks and springs, roll bars. Um, and he's very happy that he didn't get coilovers because the Irish, Irish roads are questionable. Um, <laughs> and then ever since then, he's just been sort of dialing it in to get it real nice. Uh, Bodywork looks great now. He says it needs going to need some paintwork. I I'm not sure because in pictures it looks great, but uh, I mean he's done loads of stuff. Wheels are different. It's got the Votex front valance. It's got color coded badges on the grills. He's done the um, clear light change on the front, dropping out the indicator. He's changed a load of the stuff in the bonnet, um, exhaust, all that good stuff. So real nice looking car. If you want some inspiration for sort of a real clean. Um, look, that is definitely one to have a look at. That looks really smart. Uh, right, number 18, what we got? This is Gus. Um, picked it up two months ago. Requires some work, but as a, he's the first sports car he's ever had, so he's absolutely loving life. And to be honest, it is a beautiful car. Looks Mauritius. Let me know if I'm wrong. 
Um, but yeah, just a nice, honest looking one. Um, yeah, real nice car, that. Uh, 19. Now, this is a lad of Instagram. Go give him a follow. Um, 99T3. Um, it's building a track car. He's also... Uh, so, he's bought a, he bought a silver TT, which looked like it needed a little bit of work. And he's actually painted it a lighter blue than Nagaro. Not sure what the colour is. Probably a, a newer Audi colour or a Porsche colour. Um, he's tinted the lights. He's painting everything else gloss black. Real nice looking thing. Um, and next August, he's looking to do a trip, three days, 900 miles, 150 odd challenges. Um, so go give them a look. I'll put their Instagram down in the details. That's number car number 19. Um, and this is going to be a track car. That's what he's building it for. Um, so number 20, what we got here, Cody. Um, this is a 2002 TT Quattro 180. Um, bought it not long ago, started going through it and fixing everything that was wrong. Fast forward into now, quite a capable little car. He's looking to build a motor um, for 400 brake. Nice. Uh, once that's all sorted, he'll be making it good, making it look better. But to be honest, yeah, you'd rather it go faster than look nice, eh? Um, it's currently got three inch straight pipe. Bet that is loud. Uh, CTS diverter valve, some silicon stuff, front mount, and a tune. Lovely, jubbly, nice looking car, that. Nice wheels. Um, black cooler, nice and that's quite low, yeah, nice. Okay, so number 21, we've got Vincent. Uh, this is a 225, 2006. He's got a stage two tune. Uh, all the normal mods, round air filter, three inch downpipe. Bilstein B14 coilovers, nice. Um, car made 287 horsepower. Um, the project's not done yet, as the wheels don't look great. Let's have a look, 21, number 21. Oh yeah, see, this is nice. Now this, uh, correct me if I'm wrong, is Nimbus. Gray, maybe Dolomite. It's hard to tell in pictures. But he's got that. So on the US, they have, in certain places in the US, I believe, they have a front bumper where, and a rear bumper actually, where they have what looks like, I call it a nudge bar, but <laughs> has like an extra bit on it um, for who knows why. Maybe a law or something like that. Um, but yeah, quite a nice looking thing. Looks like a nice clean one. Very nice indeed. Uh, right, number 22, Christian, um, he's got a 1.8 turbo quattro, doesn't say what, and this is a work in progress, he's got a power issue where it's draining the battery, apparently something rotten, um, he's got a few mods on it, a few nice little bits, massive subwoofer in the boot, and uh, by the looks of it he's got an intercooler, maybe, um, and a half color coded bonnet, different headlights, and a big, big mouth front bumper. I don't know. Uh, let me know what you think on that one. Uh, number 23. So, this is a lad called Ziffy. Um, now, he actually lives less than 400 meters from me, and I have never seen his car in my lifetime. So, come on, boy, get it out, get it sorted. Um, work in progress. He bought it, and it needs a reasonable amount of work. Um, nice looking colour, Kingfisher. Um, the front mount sits a little bit low for my liking. But it's had the front bumper smoothed off. Um, but yeah, not a bad looking car. Reasonably low, nice wheels. Uh, A4-ish looking wheels. Um, but yeah, front mount looks a little bit low. I would be scared to take that around where we live. Because um, there's quite a few speed bumps. Uh, Alright, number 24. Andra. Apologies if that's uh, not how you pronounce it. Um, so he's from Serbia. Again, worldwide. Parrot Bros. Lovely. Um, here's a few pictures of my TT. Saved it from death. Um, what it looks like when he bought it. Yep, yeah, interesting. Each to their own with that one. Um, over here, TTs are quite rare. There's not very many on the market. Anyway, ran like crap. Uh, only done 90,000 miles. It's a 180 front wheel drive. He's done a load of stuff to it. Sorted out some of the vacuums, get had leaks. Said it pulls hard, coilovers, 18 inch wheels, uh, all the usual stuff, diffusers, splitter. Um, really struggling for parts, so if anyone's in Serbia, <laughs> can hook him up with some parts and <laughs> drop him a message. Um, he, he, honestly, he has made this thing look night and day different. Um, nice big set of wheels, splitter, made the roof black. Yeah, real nice transformation, that one. Really nice. Um, and it just shows what you can do with just a few bits. He hasn't changed much. Um, so this is, next one is uh, Stephen, um, here's a few pictures of my TT, it was rear-ended a couple of months ago but I think I've turned out for the better, it's a 180 Quattro, 
a uh, few bits, decat, uh, diverter valve, a filter, and he's <laughs> so he's got a silver car, black wings and bonnet, black back bumper. Yeah, do you know what? I, I don't mind that. Taxis round art where I live look like that, and all it's quite a popular one. That <laughs> uh, 26 Joel Color. Let's have a look. 26. Right, so this one, quite a bit of info on this one as well. Um, again, stateside by the looks of it. Pennsylvania, very nice. Um, still needs to be tuned. Uh, had the car at the garage for quite a long time, a year. Um, replacing everything, or full service, chains the chains and everything. Full job. Um, other parts and upgrades, so he's got bigger turbo, downpipes, injectors, loads of everything, rubber. He's put all braided lines on, loads of dress-up kit. It's a real nice looking car. Red, red exhaust, that's interesting. Um, what, what is that? Is that an American thing or? Yeah. But yeah, again, just not a bad looking car. Um, again, non-original headlights. Not see, Don't see that very often in the UK. Um, but yeah, quite nice. Looks like a real clean, real clean car that, Joel. Um, 27, Jack Brewster. Loves the videos. Appreciate it, mate. Uh, recently bought his 1.8 Quattro two months ago. Wanted to do bits on it on his own, but it's tough at the moment. What with uh, money and whatnot, uh, which is fair enough, mate. COVID is getting to all of us. Obviously, we had loads of meets planned, loads of trips, and we have done nothing. Um, but yeah, he's uh, got some 19-inch wheels. He's got an uprated shifter, subwoofer, boost gauge, loads more mods in the line. Nice. Not a bad-looking car. I'm on the fence about the wheels. I've never really been a fan of aftermarket wheels. Um... But on the black with the old diamond cut, not bad, not bad. Red calipers, black roof, black car, nice. Not a bad looking car, Jack. Uh, right, number 28, this is Keith. It's spelled K-E-E-F, not Keith, as in me saying it badly. Um, <laughs> and this, again, I've been following this for a while. Um, bought the car three years ago for about a grand off his dad's mate. And he has spent pretty much ever since then fixing it up and making it look nice. It was a bit scuffy, had some bad rear arches. He's done lowered it, wheels split up. Um, the wheels have gone four colours by the looks of things. Um, they look like Porsche wheels. Um, what else has he done? Engine wise, yeah, all the normal stuff. Uh, tip, DV, dump, uh, charge pipe, stainless exhaust. Looking to do a front mount, well worth doing a front mount. Um, but yeah, not bad. 189,000 miles, so more than mine. Good work, good work. When the engine goes, going to be putting a bigger one in and making it better. Lovely jubbly. Definitely, definitely worth doing. Right, moving on to number 29. Now this is, I actually, uh, funny story. I actually looked at buying this one. This came up for sale quite a while ago. Um, and I was going to go and look at it, but it sold before I got there. Now, the reason why is because... Patrick snapped it up. So this is a Noggy, a uh, Nagaro Blue, and he has done quite a bit. We didn't ask how much he'd spent, because that's rude. <laughs> but uh, stage one remap, three inch downpipe, he's got posh wheels, staggered, 9.5 inch on the back. Smart. Uh, full air ride, Brembo six pots, loads of carbon fiber. And if you follow this car, it is very clean. He's done uh, loads of stuff on the inside, Mark III, flat bottom steering wheel, carboned. Um, was living in the island at the time. Was living in Northern Ireland at the time. Had a 180 for a few years, which he loved. But it broke, and then obviously was on the hunt for a new one. Found this, and apparently this one was owned by Fuzz Townend of Car SOS. Apparently, anyone who knows more, let us know. <laughs> um, done loads of work to it. Got loads more planned for it, um, but yeah. So that is one to follow, always always posting something, always doing something to it. Real nice build spec, so definitely worth a look on that one. Uh, moving on to number 30. We are getting through these. Um, so 30, uh, a fellow called Tony Hood. I had a little chat with him about this. Uh, he's not had it long, uh, but since he's had it, he's been chasing problems and he can't pin them down. Oh, sorry. After a year and a half, he's had it quite a while then, and he's still trying to find the issues. Maybe we need to look at it, link him up with uh, Bryn from BWSTT. Get him to go and have a sort out. Uh, but yeah, not a bad looking one. Silver black wheels. Apart from that, looks relatively stock. Not a bad looking car. Nice and clean. Straight body work, which is always nice. Uh, moving on to 31. 
Ask Matthew Simpson. Here's a picture of my pride and joy. Um, yeah, took this picture while walking back to it in a supermarket car park. Uh, girlfriend doesn't like it because it's not very practical, but he likes it, so that's all that matters. 19-inch uh, wheel, stage one remap, 40 mil springs. Got loads planned in the future. Now, a lot of people, everyone I'm speaking to has, has got <laughs> loads of plans for the future. I'm loving it. I'm going to have to get some more videos out. Um, but yeah, great looking car map. Right, so number 32. Now this is a car I've seen myself, been following the build, and it is some build. I mean, he sent me 80 something pictures. TT <laughs> um, Matty, um, now he had the car, bought it two years ago yesterday. Um, cut the ground, he paid for it, and he's already into a five figure sum. Don't ask him the specifics because it'll upset everyone uh, but he's done loads to it it's been two different colors by the looks of it it's had a wrap it's been painted he's just recently done what i've done and replaced everything metal the bolts upwards from underside um that's on full air ride he's got the split wheels he's had the engine out recently because yeah that decided it needed doing <laughs> Um, but yeah, he has literally thrown everything he possibly can. He's got a, he's planning to keep it stock, but he's going to pair it with a Beach Buggy Turbos Hybrid Co. 4 Relentless Manifold, and that's kind of where he stands. Uh, the journey's been expensive, and the knowledge I've gained purely by being a driveway mechanic is insane. Uh, I think I'm going to build the engine. Hopefully it'll run. And uh, yeah, loves the community, loves the... Uh, Loves the channel and yeah, nice guy. If you ever want to know anything or you want to sort of uh, pick his brains, if he hasn't done it, he'll probably know the answer to that one when it comes to air and big wheels and all that kind of good stuff. Uh, number 33. This is a fella called Sean. Um, he's watching from South Carolina, uh, sorry, South Southern California. I read that wrong. Um, 180 Quattro uh, has had it since the beginning of July. Nice. Hits a load, ticks a load of boxes. Only done fifty five thousand miles, eighty eight thousand kilometers. Um, real nice looking car. Um, money wise, a little bit more than we would have spent, but I guess that's part of the fun of being in America. Um, it's got lowering springs. Osif, ah, O S I R. I always say that wrong. Um, front fenders, stage one. It's got a lip. It is a nice, nice looking car. Nice wheels as well. Um, oh, it's got the rear diffuser as well, which is just beautiful. Um, which is quite a popular one. It's got also the door blades across the bottom of the doors. I don't know if you can see that on the driver's side. Oh, about both sides, actually, on the doors. Um, at the bottom of the doors, it's got these trim, which kind of fills the gap and also stops you smashing the bottom of your door and everything. Um, but yeah, real nice looking. I quite like the wheels as well with the old black and silver. Quite a nice little touch, that. Right, let's move on to number 34. Where are we? Paul Skelton now. Yeah, well, if, if you don't know who Paul Skelton is, just get yourself onto uh, Instagram and have a look. This has to be probably the best spec TT I've ever seen in my life. The attention to detail is ridiculous. I mean, I, every time I look at a picture now, I still notice something I've not noticed before. Um, like he's got Quattro um, like CNC'd into the door handles on the outside. He's had all the the door inlays redone. Everything's been redone. Steering wheel, doors, door cards, headlining, bottoms, the dashes. Yeah, just get get yourself on and have a look. I mean, I'll flick the pictures up. Engine bay looks better than it did new. Everything's chrome and yeah, yeah. That's before I spend any more of my money. I will stop talking about that one. But yeah, Instagram. You'll thank me later. Well, your wallet might not, but you might. Um, <laughs> 35 Marmite Mike Gaming a uh, lad on Facebook bought a TT um, he's been in spooling he's taken it all apart ripped it all down and he's been trying to find all the rare stuff um, he's done quite a few bits what's he got carbon fibre badges on the outside um, OSA OSIR wings V6 bumper um, done the DLR conversion sequential indicators Alcantara in the interior change of Dash clusters, all the hosing. Yeah, he's, he's going to town. He's doing as much as he possibly can to get it looking pretty sweet. Um, so that's a nice work in progress. Like I said, it's not all about the show cars. 
we're all on a project. Um, right, next one. Glenn Liddell, this is, is Titty. Um, family joke name, stuck with a car. Like that. Um, this The time's come where I finally got around to buying my dream car. Yes, a Mark 1 TT. We all know what he knows. Um, <laughs> he was looking around, loads of overpriced ones that needed work. Found this one, 900 quid. Not bad, needed some TLC. And by the looks of it, he's changed a good list of stuff. PCV stuff, um, shockers, top mounts, breather hoses, all that good stuff. Um, plans are to fit the 225 setup. Makes sense because you can buy inlet manifold, throttle body, injectors, turbo, all that good stuff, and then just fit a front mount um, for sort of four five hundred quid. Well, that's what it was when I looked last. Um, depending on the breakers and stuff, but yeah, not a bad looking car. He's got a boost gauge. Just a nice, honest looking TT. He's got a few scuffs, but it's what it is, isn't it? I mean, you buy a car for nine hundred quid. What, what can you expect? You know what I mean? It's going to need some work and. If you prefer bodywork to mechanical, at least bodywork's relatively straightforward. Mechanical can be a bit of a pain in the ass sometimes. Um, number 37, Craig Bell. Ball. Apologies, Craig Ball. Read that too quick. Um, Quattro Sport. So yeah, uh, just seen you wanted some info. Been a long-term follower of the YouTube channel. Nice one. Um, I've seen his TT on the Facebook pages. Is a bit of background... Uh, he's owned three TTs, a 225 Quattro Sport replica and two real Quattro Sports. Currently overhauling this one. Um, loves the exclusivity of the Quattro Sport whilst retaining the practical costs of effectively a Mark IV Golf, as he says. And this has got two pages of stuff, um, so I recommend you checking it out. Um, loads of Forge stuff, loads of dress-up stuff. He's got, yeah, a nice exhaust. B14, Bill Stein, coilovers, all the cookpot gear. Just a real nice looking... I mean, Quattro Sports look great anyway. He's got all the forged silicon hosing, forged strut brace. Obviously, the Quattro Sports come with Brembo brakes, um, nicer wheels, the V6 style front bumper, black roof, black mirrors, all that good stuff. Real nice looking car, that. Check that one out. Um, Craig Ball, number 37. Number 38, uh, got no name, the modern classic. It says on here, 100% um, stock three years ago, 180 Quattro. Now this, I've, I've been following this on Instagram, this thing's wicked. Um, he's done a load of stuff, Bill Stein coilovers, PSS 9s, front mounting a cooler, roof rank. 1552 Turbo Mac wheels, now these are, I wouldn't want to clean them, but they look amazing. Um, definitely spaced out, or... The right offset to be really wide. He's got an exhaust. Wrapped it himself in sky blue with accents of gloss black. And it looks brilliant. Um, he's taken it on many road trips across the US and into different states. Still have many plans. So definitely watch that one out. Uh, daily drive 150k miles. Good effort. Nice to see it getting used. Nice roof rack. Nice uh, roof box. The old splitter and all that. Really nice looking car that. Really nice. Just shows what you can do. Um, sometimes not always stock colours. Uh, number 39. Now this is an Olms ALMS edition, um, which I believe is a Le Mans edition. That's what it's short for. Uh, Mazzano Red, 140k. Had it since February this year and really enjoyed it. Um, wanted one for several years. Boss has had several TTs and I've walked by them for years and always wanted one. Nice little story that. Um, overall, the car's in great shape for 18 years, small dents, and he's moved to Cincinnati, Ohio in January. Um, there's loads of images on this one online. Real nice looking car, loads of history. Um, definitely worth checking out. And it's just, it just looks flawless. Um, so it's similar to the interior I bought, I believe. It's got the same steering wheel coloured as the seats, the door guards, and all that good stuff. It's just a really nice looking, honest car, that one. Um, uh, let's move on to number 40, Jack Hater. Um, wicked name, mate. Um, <laughs> so, uh, absolutely loves the channel. Uh, bought the TT back in March, 225 black, cream seats, uh, in the process of painting the calipers. Uh, enjoying the videos, easy to understand. Nice, like it. Uh, done quite a few of the bits I've done. Just tinted his rear window, wants to know what we think about all tinting windows. Now this... 
I like window tints. The S4's tinted. The TT I've not bothered now. The reason because, by law, technically, by law, remember that, um, you can have the rear window and the two little triangular windows at the back, um, but you can't have the front ones. Now, that'll look weird because it's frameless. The glass butted up together, one's black, one's not. That might look a bit strange. Um, and then also you've got the fact that if you do the front ones, then it makes it really dark inside, and it's not particularly great for visibility anyway, so you may want to have a think about that. He likes it. I mean, at the end of the day, it's personal preference. If you like it, you like it. It is, it is what it is. But for me, I don't think on a TT it really suits it. But like I said, it is a personal preference. Jump down into the comments. Let me know, tinted or not tinted. Um, but yeah, that is it. So 40 cars. Um, guys, let me know what you think. If you've enjoyed it, maybe we'll do another one. There's uh, 5,000 nearly subscribers. So hopefully half of you got TTs and uh, we can make some nice videos in the future for that. But yeah, guys, thanks for watching. That's been a, another video from the Parrot Bros. Bye for now.